All right, so what I've done out over here is I've written out the number of siblings. So look at class A. Class A, it's saying there's one person who has zero siblings. One person that has, sorry, there's one person that has zero siblings. I'm not sure if that's what I said. One person has zero sibling. One person has one sibling. There's three people that have two siblings. There's seven people with three siblings. Seven people with four siblings. And finally, three people with five siblings. And I've done the same exact thing for class B. Class B is saying that there's four people with zero, four people with one, two, three, four, and five siblings. Remember, standard deviation is how far the numbers are spread out compared to what the median is. Sorry, not the median, compared to what the mean is. So what I did right now is I calculated the mean for this one. When I added up all of these and I divided by, uh, I think there's 22 of them. Uh, I got 3.22, okay? So 3.22 was the mean over here. And when you calculate the mean for this one, you get 2.5. Now, let's kind of work strategically. See that 2.5? Let's look at these four numbers and let's look at these n numbers over here. This zero, so there are four of these numbers and four of these numbers, they both are a distance of 2.5 away from the mean. Because five and 2.5 is, five is 2.5 away from five? No, sorry. 5 is 2.5 away from 2.5 and similarly 0 is 2.5 away from 2.5 so these eight numbers have a distance of 2.5 from the mean but now let's check this one out the, all these threes are only 0.22 away all of these fours are only 0.78 away from the mean all these fives are only what about three 1.78 away all these twos are only about 1.22 away from the mean. This one is 2.22 away, and this zero is 3.22 away. So if I were to really make a judgment about the standard deviation or how far most of the numbers are from the mean, I would say that B would be greater because this one has a greater amount. There's eight numbers that are 2.5, a distance of 2.5 away from the mean. While over here, there's only really these two numbers that stand out. But in this particular problem, there's eight numbers that I can clearly, distinctively say they're pretty far away from the mean. So that, that for that reason, I would say that the class B has a higher standard deviation for that particular reason. Um, this is really just kind of hacking the problem. Uh, the SAT is not really going to ask you to calculate the exact standard deviation. They just want to make sure you understand what standard deviation means. So for our purposes, for this particular test, standard deviation is really how far the numbers are and when you compare it to the mean. And that's why B has a larger standard deviation because these eight numbers, I would say, are pretty far away from the mean. While in class A, there's really only these two numbers and really only zero that's very far away but everything else is pretty lumped together uh, close to the mean so it's got a pretty small standard deviation while this one will have a large one so I'll match the answer choices and it's saying uh, answer choice A is standard deviation of the number of siblings in class A is smaller which is what we just said is true and that's why the answer would be A